Good day. Review natin yung concept ng derivatives as it relates to the slope of a tangent line to a curve at a given point. To we'll start by drawing a figure of a function, and yung function for our example would be f of x is equal to 3 over x. On this function, mag-designate tayo ng point P na ang coordinate sa x, f of x. To do that, we'll introduce a second point, which we will call point Q. Now, point Q, nasa left siya ni point P at yung distance nung dalawang points horizontally, i-set natin as delta x. This would mean that the coordinates of point Q will be x plus delta x, tas yung y coordinate niya ay f of x plus delta x. Now, what this means is that delta x is negative kasi point Q is on the left side of point P, so mas maliit yung x coordinate niya sa x coordinate ni point P. So if it's x plus delta x, then negative sigurado si delta x. Okay lang yun for our scenario. What we'll do next is we'll connect point Q and point P with a line. Now, this would be a secant line to the curve kasi it passes through two points. And we already know that the horizontal distance is delta x. And the vertical distance will be given by f of x plus delta x minus f of x. Bale yung y coordinate ni point Q minus yung y coordinate ni point P. Again, the horizontal distance will be delta x kasi yung x coordinate ni point Q minus yung x coordinate ni point P. And based on our figure, delta x must be negative. But in general, this could be either negative or positive. Now, you may observe no, that this is only the secant line. Hindi pa to yung tangent line. But what you want to do is to determine yung slope nitong secant line na to. And that will be given by m is equal to change in y over change in x, rise over run. Now, the change in y will be the difference of the y coordinates nung point Q at ni point P. So, it will be given by f of x plus delta x minus f of x. And yung denominator natin is yung change in x from Q papuntang P. So, that will be x plus delta x minus x. So, that will only be delta x. But this is the slope of the secant line. Yung gusto natin, yung slope ng tangent line. So what can we do? We can let delta x get smaller and smaller, or basically, we'll let it approach zero. So to find the slope of the tangent line, we will take the limit of this expression as delta x approaches zero. Visually, this is what will happen. Liliit yung delta x, so lalapit ng lalapit si point Q kay point P, until yung distance nila will approach zero, and then we'll have the tangent line to f of x on p. You might remember from your discussion sa Math 5 that this will give you the derivative of function f. So yung expression natin na limit as delta x approaches zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x is the limit of the difference quotient, and this is the definition of the derivative of f. Now, titignan natin kung ano itsura pag ginraph natin yung slopes nung tangent line dun sa curve nating f of x. So, we drew a Cartesian plane sa right side, tas nireset ko yung, yung point P natin to the left. We'll start with x equals 0.7. Now, the program has computed the slope of the tangent line when x equals 0.7 to be negative 6.12 approximately. Let's plot that point on the right side. Then move natin yung x values natin. Ilagay natin siya ngayon sa x equals 1. When x equals 1, the slope is computed to be equal to negative 3. So i-plot natin yung 1, negative 3 sa right side. So again, sa right side, we're plotting yung slope ng tangent line at a particular x-coordinate ni f of x. So let's continue. When x equals 2, the slope is equal to negative 0.75. Plot natin siya. And let's keep doing that until umabot tayo ng siguro x equals 5. Okay, so we have some sample points. Let's connect the dots dun sa right side. 
and it should form another smooth curve. And in fact, itong curve na to, pag hinanap natin yung equation niya, this is equal to negative 3 over x squared. But since we know that yung function na nafoform natin from the slopes of the tangent line of f of x, this is the derivative of f of x. Kaya f prime of x, the derivative of f of x, is equal to negative 3 over x squared. I-verify natin yung result natin. So, hahanapin natin yung derivative ni f of x equals 3 over x using the definition. So, the definition of the derivative is that this is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Let's start by looking at the numerator. f of x plus delta x saka f of x. So, we will substitute yung f of x natin dun sa value sa taas. So we could write it now as the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 3 over x plus delta x minus 3 of x all over delta x. Yung delta x sa denominator, ilalabas natin siya as a multiplier na 1 over delta x. Now we take a look at the values inside the parentheses. Meron tayong dalawang terms that we could combine into a single term. So the denominator will become x plus delta x times x and the numerator becomes 3x minus the quantity 3 times x plus delta x. Let's distribute yung 3 sa numerator para maging 3x minus 3x minus 3 times delta x. Mas madali natin siyang isimplify mamaya. Let's also do that sa denominator by distributing yung x sa labas para maging x squared plus x times delta x. Now the numerator can be simplified. Kasi may 3x tsaka may negative 3x. So it will simplify to negative 3 times delta x. Taking a look at this expression, meron tayong delta x sa numerator at delta x dun sa factor natin na 1 over delta x. So naturally, they can cancel each other out. And what we'll have is this, the limit as delta x approaches 0 of negative 3 all over x squared plus x times delta x. Note that, yung natitirang expression na may delta x ay yung x plus delta x sa denominator. So if we take the limit as delta x approaches 0 of the expression inside the parenthesis, ang ma-affect lang ay yung x plus delta x na nasa denominator. That will approach 0 and it will not impact yung numerator nating negative 3 or yung x squared sa denominator. So what we'll get after we evaluate the limit is that f prime of x is equal to negative 3 over x squared, which is the same expression na nakuha natin kanina nung pinlat natin yung points nung slope nung tangent line pa isa, isa To recap, binalikan natin yung idea ng derivative as a function of the slopes of the tangent line to a given function. We've investigated how the derivative of a function will look by plotting points na based dun sa x-coordinate of the original function at yung slope ng tangent line sa point na nandun, dun sa original function, pinlat natin siya on a separate Cartesian plane, and we looked at its curve, which we confirmed by getting the derivative of f of x equals 3 of x using the definition na limit ng difference quotient. So I hope na-refresh yung memory natin dun sa concepts na to, and salamat sa pakikinig.